North Omaha community believe the police shooting of Stephen Phipps was unnecessary. The community held a news conference this afternoon. As John Chapman reports, community leaders say there's work to be done to mend relations between police and Omaha's black community. Last year, Nebraska lawmakers approved constitutional carry, making a permit unnecessary to carry a concealed handgun. Juanita Johnson, city council representative for North Omaha, had spoke out against the new law. We have the ability to carry weapons now. So that is not something that's odd or wrong or different. That's a reality. So now we need to, as a community, talk about what that reality really means and do we need to educate not only the police department, but our community at large. Omaha police made public pictures of the police-involved shooting of 22-year-old Stephen Phipps. Phipps had a gun and ran from police and jumped a fence, trying to get away after being ordered to stop. Phipps' family members say police did not have to shoot him eight times. He just had his hands up like, okay, don't, like, you know, basically don't shoot. Like, he was already down. There was no reason to just keep firing when a guy, you can see that on the video, he was scared. Like, okay, okay, you know, like, you got me. I think something has to be done as it relates to understanding how police are trained and what the uh, procedure that they are taught is because it just seems like the moment they see a gun, they shoot. The Interdenominational Ministerial Alliance held a news conference after the police news conference. Some community leaders in attendance believe what started with a traffic stop didn't have to end in death. I believe that Mr. Phipps may have needed to be more educated about his possessing of a firearm, may have been more educated about a traffic stop, but he did not deserve to lose his life. Leo Lewis believes more black men need more information on how to handle themselves in case they're stopped by police. This is not something that is taught in public schools. This is not something that you find in a class. This is something that you have to learn through the streets and through people. And it's unfortunate that it appears that Mr. Phipps learned early that his interaction with police were very dangerous. Pastor Portia Cabot is president of the Interdenominational Ministerial Alliance and the host of the community news conference. She's asking residents of North Omaha to stop the trend. One black man, Cameron Ford, was shot by police during a no-knock search warrant in August. Another, Stephen Phipps, was killed by police after a traffic stop in September. Please stop and follow whatever commands they have because as we come up on this month, we do not want another death. If we had one in August and one in September, we do not want a death in October of a police-involved shooting. On your side in Omaha, I'm John Chapman, 6 News. Pastor Cavett says they will hold a town hall meeting Sunday at Clara Memorial United Methodist Church at 4 p.m., the community will be able to share their feelings and concerns about police shootings in the black community.